Philly native Eric Tolsky. Whew. Named Big full-time ghost. GM in Carolina. Good for him. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, here's my question for you as a former player, former coach. I know I'm old school. We talk about the analytics part of the game. I know it's in every sport now. This is a money ball, but I'm asking you. Um, obviously, Tulski is a is a um, analytics guy. When you were coaching, how much did you put into your like? To me, you're a hockey guy. You played the game. You coach. Can you not see by watching? <laughs> like I understand, there's some important pieces to the analytic you know I, I do understand i'm not that old that i don't understand some of it but i don't know man like I, I put more stock in what you think of this guy watching him every single night play than all you know numbers like some of the numbers that come up right well i would say that the old eye test is the, is the most important right. and the analytics sh- should support that. And I think they're there to support what we see. Okay. Uh, for example, l- like obviously you can tell when a guy's playing well, Yeah. but if you start breaking down, you know, some, some of these numbers, maybe there's, you know, a few little things we, you could maybe use to teach or, you know, maybe talk to the player around whether it's, you know, breakout things or entry things. Um, but you can't base everything on the analytics because I don't think it tells the full picture. And another example would be like, I remember one of the analytics that we would look at would be, you know, entries with possession. And of course, every team would coach like, let's, let's try and enter the zone with possession. Right. But that's not always possible, right? If a, right. if a good defending team squeezes you out, the play would be to put it in space behind the defenseman, not to try and carry it through possession and turn the puck and over. Turn the puck over. So yeah. you could break down that. You could look at these numbers and be like, well, we didn't have that many entries with possession today, but maybe they just did a hell of a job defending. So maybe the player made the right play. But the, you know, the analytics yeah, the don't analytics. support right. the, what the coach wants, which would be possession entry. So you just have to you, you have to look at it with some sort of you know uh, in, intelligence that would you know try and support what we already know to be true after yeah. you know every coach and the whole coaching staff watches the game probably at least well for sure once yes. possibly a second time and then you're you're combing through all these clips um, on top of that so um, yes they have value but you can get lost in the analytics we've seen before like yes. just so many numbers and so many little things hockey such a fast read and react sport um, to reduce it to just that, yeah. to me, is like doing the game a disservice. But I, I understand, you know, when you start breaking down some of these numbers, you can, you can it, it, it could paint an interesting picture. Yeah. But we talked about before we even hopped on here, like guys that maybe have had arguably a, a, an off season that somehow the analytics say that they didn't say they didn't, and then and vice versa, right. like, be like wow, this guy really like turned it up, and you know, just like was a. You know, some bit of a beast in, in, in some way, shape, or form. But then the analytics, some versions of the analytics don't support that. So um, I think you have to have both. Yeah. But, I mean, there's, there's nothing quite like the, the eye test. Because the one thing analytics don't show and, and can't quantify is energy and attitude, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like exactly. how you carry yourself, how you deal with adversity, how you react to certain things in games, and, um, and the presence that you bring and the consistency that you bring every single night, you know? So, yeah. Um, I know what your thoughts are. Yeah, that. well, no, I, I agree with you, and it's funny. Like I remember years ago when uh, Hack was coaching here, and I think it was Mondays they had to go up. The coaches had to go up oh. in the afternoon for their mm-hmm. analytics meeting, and z- nothing against the analytic guys. They're just going off what they see. But my joke with Hack was because he came down one day, and he's like, I get it. I get the analytics part. There's a lot of things that we can use from it. But if I have a guy that's never played a hockey game, again, tell me we need better sticks. I'm going to fucking snap. Yeah. So every week, Monday, the, the coach will be going on. I'll be like, hack, make sure get better sticks, sticks here. You know, puck. Yeah, sticks yeah. Puck. And he's just like, all right, now, you know, he laughed and he's like, I know, I know. And he's like, I don't need someone to tell me we need better, you know, in certain situations, but it was just kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to ask you about that because I know I'm old school, but yeah, you know, some, I know it's some important things you can get from that, but especially from like opposing teams, when you start like pre-scouting other teams, like how they break the puck out, like, right. you know, like 
60 percent of the time they're going up the strong side you know right. the limited d to d passes so you know certain things like that can certainly help pre-scouting and obviously there's a lot to, to break break um you know break into when you talk about like your own personal team and individuals with analytics but you can get lost in it there's so many oh like i'm sure God. like I'm sure the packets increased. Like I think it was like a ten or twelve <laughs> yeah. page packet after every yeah. game when I was coaching with the Phantoms. I would imagine it's way more in depth oh now. God. Like you know, thirty, forty, fifty pages of just like every little thing can be broken down. It's just not the full picture, right? Um, but you know, in combination again with the old eye test and discussion between the coaching staffs, because every coach has a different perspective too. Yeah, right. So then you're talking about. You know, systems, philosophy, perspective on certain plays, and then the, the numbers are the numbers, and then those could be questionable too because that's right. that, you know that's a, a human creating yeah. those 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 metrics, True. and then you know well what did you see here? Was that a turnover? Was that you know whatever? We can go yeah. on for days on this, but yeah, exactly.